So the first thing we're going to do is passing. Can I maybe just have three volunteers come over here? The rest of you guys can hang out or target. Adam, let's do, Adam, let's do single knee. Okay, so one of the things we see with passing a lot is just extra feet movements. And really the bottom line with passing to me is just can you make the angle? Can you make the correct angle? So we do some single knee passings. You're going to go down on one knee. And I say on this side of the court, we're typically trying to keep the ball midline to left hip. If I have to go too far over here, it's hopefully that person's ball, okay? So on this sideline, we've got to be good at making this ball go that way. And I might have to have my left foot forward if someone serves it here. And I might have to have my right foot forward if someone serves it here. Or I have this short seam, right? So single knee passing to me is either position. So whoever goes first is going to go five like this. And they're going to go five like this. And all we're trying to do is understand what angle we need to make. And I call this push the platform forward. They're trying not to come across their body. They're trying to go fist to the net and push their platform forward. So Adam's going to throw a real low flat ball. Don't lob this. Don't hit it. Just a real low flat ball and feed you to work on your angles. Perfect. Good. And we're going to try and make it go towards the middle. Adam's left shoulders. Yes, perfect. Okay, and what she's doing here, and this is real simple, is she's contacting it before it gets to her hip. Can you switch knees for me? Yep. Now, this would be a deep serve that she's playing like this, so Adam's going to throw it up here. Yep, nice early angle out. Great. She's making that, early, we call that an early angle, and she's pushing our platform forward. Next person up. When you enter this, this is a good partner drill, but you do it at camp, and kids screw it up all the time. They start like... Adam, I'll give a bat. They start doing like this. It's like, no, that's, that's not the drill. And you're like, I want a nice flat ball like this. And they'll stand there and then they'll go like this. You're like, no, that's not it. So the, I'm real particular about that entry in this one. And we want that right shoulder down. Yep, nice and early. And you can even let them start there early. If we went over to the one zone, are you, you can go next for us. Let's go over to the one. Oh, oh, wait, well, one last thing here. So the cross-court serve, we've got to be able to play. I like that midline, kind of. But when you enter the cross-court ball to your teammate, don't stand over here. That's not where the serve crosses the net, right? The serve comes from over there, and it crosses the net here. So here's our cross-court ball. She's going to play this one right in her midline. And I say she's going to reflect that straight back where it came, right? The cross-court serve goes right back into the middle. Very simple movements, but learning these angles are pretty important. Let's go over to the one. Over here, we're going to try and play it on our right hip. Okay, so this down the line serve, we've got to get our left shoulder down. Arms out, you can start early. Yep, we're going to push that platform forward. We're trying to go towards the middle of the court again. I don't worry about, let's say this, I don't worry about helping it up. You can keep it nice and low because it's just about learning that angle. You usually aren't that low, so you might as well work on a realistic angle. Let's go other knee. And so you can create a triangle. I like groups of three for this one, where you have a tosser down the line, a target, and then we'll switch. Um, that's a nice group of three uh, passing trials. You have setting triangles. This is a single knee passing triangle. All right, next thing. Uh, three different volunteers want to hop in. Let's do first step. I'm going to grab these two little... I usually use cones. I didn't see any cones around, so I grabbed these guys. I'm going to put these in the sixth zone. And Adam, you want to create an angle instead of straight on, just to create a little bit of one so we know. Okay, so in this situation, Adam is a right back server. This is Adam Campbell, by the way. He's our uh, technical coordinator looking for a job. If anybody's got any, hire Adam. He's great. Okay. So in this situation, we have a cross-court serve. I want a square to the server to start, so my shoulders are facing Adam. I have this deep seam, and I have that short seam. And when, I, when we get liberos, DSs, passers in general, almost everyone has a tick. That tick might be, when he serves it, I do this. Or when he serves it, I always step with my right, or I always step forward, or I always step back. They have that general habit. We're trying to create a world where that doesn't exist. We're trying to minimize movements. Now, there is split-step passing and elastic responses. Some people teach that. That's completely fine. But we're going for simple with young players. 
Okay, so if I have this deep seam and this short seam, I have a lead leg with my right leg, and Adam is going to throw this ball to your right in front of this or to your left behind it, and you are to take three steps only. We call it one, two, three. So we do this drill maybe once a week, and we do all the different angles, and we create, and as soon as we make that move, we're starting our angle. Okay, so I'm going to go one, two, three, push my platform forward. Nice and simple. Here we go. See how this goes. One, oh, I'm losing my microphone. And somebody's calling me. I'm going to ignore that. Yep, yeah, let's just do one and go. We'll do one and done. One, two, three. Oh, oh, so we took a wrong first step. That happens. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five. One, two, three. There you go. So if we're creating that angle, we want a nice... Another thing I talk about with young players, I'll pause you here, you guys are doing great, is head movement. Can I sneak in there? So if I'm playing a ball, I would say if I'm hitting a softball, I'm not doing this, right? Because it's really hard to do that because your eyes. Okay, so we try and keep a very level head when we do this drill. If he plays it low, I'm trying to go one, two, three, and work my way down slowly so my eyes don't start bouncing. Okay, so just real level head movement. We don't want this. Okay, we're trying to avoid that and keep our head level. The steps you are taking are trying to get where you need to go so that you can have a level head. You'll see they'll have a right lead leg, they'll have a left lead leg. I like this drill. Let's switch the angles. Let's move Adam over. And now all that happens, yep, you're good. All that happens is their lead leg changes a little bit. And now they have this short seam and that deep seam. These guys are pretty good. There's not a lot of extra movements. This is where some younger players might start doing things like this. Really try and avoid that. We say simple and straight. I sent uh, a sheet with a couple of pages of notes like six months ago. I don't know if that's even in your notes, but straight and simple is what we're working on. Really efficient with the movements. <clears throat> Another thing we talk about is second step adjustments. Let's pause for a second. So if a serve is really close to me, I'm making my initial step this one might be small because it's right here. But if it's far away from me, it might be a big second step. So we call second step adjustments. But the first step is efficient. That's my, well, I guess I go this way. That's my seam. I know if a ball is served that direction, I'm going here. If I have to do this, it is not mine. So don't hit the cones. Go to the other angle. Good. Adam stretches you out a little bit sometimes, makes that second step a little bigger. And the last one I want to do with passing is uh, arm angle work. Adam, you're going to roll this one under. Want three new people? We'll just keep rotating you guys. Thank you, helpers. This is a real simple one we do just to work on angles. So if you say, if this is my starting spot, that went well. Okay, this is my starting spot. I'm going to start with my right foot near it. And Adam's going to roll it to the sideline, and I'm going to go one, two, three. And when we do this drill, a lot of times we're working on starting here. So we'll even have our players just start out and go one, two, three. Very often we see this in passing, and we're trying to avoid that. I'm trying to get your simple straight arms out in front of your body. And so start here for me, and then one, two, three, out. Yep, just start with those arms out. Let's start with our right shoulder down even. Yep, right shoulder down. Know the angle. Make the angle. Yep, there you go. Right shoulder down. Perfect. This is another one you can do with three people. Uh, they can just have a three-player rotation. Let's see if I had any other passing notes. We would take that drill and we'd pause there, and then we'd say, okay, six zone. Now, so now this is our starting spot, and that's my short seam. So Adam's going to roll it, and I'm going to go one, two, three. That way I'll move this. So we go out to in drills, into out drills. Perfect. All right. Thank you. Uh, 
I think I'm, that's good on passing, just some real simple stuff we do, some posture, head movement, feet, creating angles.